Raccoons are so evil, they're always up to shady misdeeds. Stealing, shape-shifting, turning into statues, rooting through your garbage. They may be adorable, but they're evil. They are, in fact, adore evil. It's like an army. You can see their faces as you're walking home. You know they're ready to attack at any moment. They have thumbs, God damn it! they have thumbs! They can open doors. What a bloody raccoon. I'm terrified. Yeah. Outside my door, there are usually six to seven fully grown raccoons hissing and fighting with each other. I'm terrified to leave my house at night. They're a menace. Oh, come on. They're so cute. Aren't they the size of possums? Can't be that bad. What in the hell is a bloody raccoon? All we know about is possum. Does it look like a possum? I love possums. My neighbor, she suffered uh, 16 uh, puncture wounds and over a hundred uh, lacerations to her, her body from a raccoon attack. She was walking a dog. I could hear the screams through the park. It was hell. It was like a horror movie. She died. I was lucky enough to see the piece in Melbourne about a year ago, and um, as just as a you know regular audience member, and um, I just fell in love with this play straight away. It was so, it was just so captivating on so many levels, and um, it made me feel sick to the stomach, and then laughing at the same time, and like it's so rare to have those kind of reactions. So, and it was a pleasure to, to have those kind of reactions. Um, so. Um, I really just loved it from then, and um, then when I heard that um, Wendy and Ben wanted to take it to Adelaide, I just thought I would love to be part of this because it is such a fantastic play and the way they perform it is so exquisite, so I just thought this would be really great fun to be part of and um, it deserves to be out there, basically. Raton Le Beur is about a couple that have just moved to Canada, to Toronto, and um, the character I play has an amazing new job um, and her partner, her fiancé, is kind of left with a lot of time on his hands and um, starts to go a little bit crazy and um, he believes he's being stalked by raccoons. Uh, I originally saw the Toronto production in the Toronto Fringe Festival, which I, I just loved. I, it's really, I, I, I'm a bit of a, a strong critic with theatre pieces, and I was just shocked and excited by this show that I heard a lot about. I was working in Toronto Fringe and also doing a show at the same time, and went to see it, and, and I was just surprised by how wonderful the script was and how wonderful that production was. The first time I read the script I had um, I laughed, uh, it's, it's so funny and also incredibly shocking in ways even when you're reading it that you can't quite imagine um, and I think it's just the thrill of you know being on stage with an awesome actor um, but also telling a story that you know is making people laugh and kind of cringe at the same time and uh, feel disgusted and delighted all at once. So it's, it's, it's such a pleasure to be and be a part of. I love going to Adelaide during Fringe and festival time and um, I've done three other shows there in the Fringe and it's always just so much fun, it's always hard work, but in this kind of like sick, pleasurable kind of way. Um, what I love about it is that everyone gets really involved. It's not um, an elitist kind of vibe at all. You know, you have to, if you want your play to work or your show to work on any level, you have to get out there and everyone has to sort of like muck in and make it happen. And I think I love that sort of energy of, you know, a bunch of people making a show happen. Um, and the vibe there is just electric, the quality of the work that is, a, is there to see and the great people that you meet, it's just such a fantastic experience and you know, it's one of the, one of the best you know, fringe festivals in the world and you know, for, for really good reasons, it's, it's such an amazing, amazing festival. 
Um, I'm excited to actually be in Adelaide. It's my first time in Adelaide as a performer. Um, and I'm excited to introduce the show to Adelaide audiences. Uh, introduce myself to Adelaide audiences and our company. Doing Rat on the Vert in Adelaide is going to be so much fun. I think it's a show that fringe audiences will really love. It's an hour long, it's really quick. Um, the fact that it's hilarious um, and just as disgusting is just an awesome mix. Um, it's a real ride. So being in Adelaide, um, I think it would just suit the surroundings and um, I'm looking forward to the heat and the garden and everything wonderful um, about the Fringe and being in my hometown, of course. Like being um, back in Adelaide is, um, especially at that time of year, will be great. I'm looking forward to it. It's just simple storytelling told well. Bloody funny. Right on the bird. I think it'll just be a surprise for people, but like I think it will be a really a very, very present pleasant surprise for everyone really. And a lot of fun.